So, I thought we probably best get started by something like what I would call do no harm in a nutshell. Really just to give you the very basics, the very rough idea of what do no harm is all about. And then in the next couple of steps, I'm going to explain it more in detail. But if you only remember the rough concept, this is what you should remember. Do No Harm is a planning, monitoring and evaluation tool that really tries to encourage people who work in very difficult, complex, conflict loading uh, environments to make sure their interventions don't cause any, any unintended harm. And in order to be able to do that, it provides you with some tools. And these tools build nicely on what you learned earlier, kind of doing a conflict analysis, understanding the conflict, understanding the context in which you are active, and it gives you some additional tools to what you already know, something which is called dividers and connectors, so that you really have a broad view of what are the factors, the dynamics at, uh, at work in a society, which drive people apart or which bring people together. So one big aspect of Do No Harm is really understanding the, conf uh, <coughs> is understanding the context. Then the next big aspect really is about unpacking the intervention and not just in the way you hope it will work, but really looking at key elements within an intervention regarding what you're doing as well as how you're doing it and assessing how all the decisions behind the intervention, how you actually got to the final product, so to say, the intervention, how did this come about and what are the likely effects from that intervention on the dividers and the connectors in the context. So two big aspects before we move on to the third one, and that is assessing more systematically how an intervention interacts with the dynamics within a conflict situation. And here again, we're going to focus mainly on how it interacts with the forces which bring people, which drive people apart and the forces which bring people together. In how far are we positively or negatively impacting on them through the intervention we are responsible for. So context, intervention, seeing how they interact, seeing how far that brings about positive or negative effects. And once we have a good idea about this, we're going to have a look at better programming alternatives. And here it doesn't mean like, um, I don't know, putting the whole intervention in the bin and thinking about a new one. No, changing small elements in the what we're doing and how we're doing it, small elements which might actually make sure we're not having negative effects on the dividers and connectors, testing them against our understanding, and then obviously changing the program accordingly. So this is what I would call do no harm in a nutshell. Understanding the context, unpacking the intervention, seeing how the intervention interacts with um, the dynamics of the con uh, in the context, seeing where that might cause harm, that's where we get the name from, and then obviously coming up with better ideas, better alternatives, additional better programming options. Good, more in detail now.